a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Australia Australia, officially the Commonwealth of Australia, is a sovereign country comprising the mainland of the Australian continent, the island of Tasmania and numerous smaller islands. It is the largest country in Oceania and the world's sixth largest country by total area. The neighboring countries are Papua New Guinea, Indonesia and East Timor to the north, the Solomon Islands and Vanuatu to the northeast, and New Zealand to the southeast. The population of million is highly urbanized and heavily concentrated on the eastern seaboard. Australia's capital is Canberra, and its largest city is Sydney. The country's other major metropolitan areas are Melbourne, Brisbane, Perth, and Adelaide. Australia was inhabited by indigenous Australians for about 60,000 years before the first British settlement in the late 18th century. It is documented that Aborigines spoke languages that can be classified into about 250 groups. After the European discovery of the continent by Dutch explorers in 1606, who named it New Holland, Australia's eastern half was claimed by Great Britain in 1770 and initially settled through penal transportation to the colony of New South Wales from 26 January 1788, a date which became Australia's National Day. The population grew steadily in subsequent decades, and by the 1850s most of the continent had been explored and an additional five self-governing crown colonies established. On 1 January 1901, the six colonies federated forming the Commonwealth of Australia. Australia has since maintained a stable liberal democratic political system that functions as a federal parliamentary constitutional monarchy comprising six states and several territories, being the oldest, flattest and driest inhabited continent. With the least fertile soils, Australia has a landmass of 7,617,930 square kilometres, a mega-diverse country. Its size gives it a wide variety of landscapes, with deserts in the centre, tropical rainforests in the northeast and mountain ranges in the southeast. A gold rush began in Australia in the early 1850s, which boosted the population of the country. Nevertheless, its population density, 2.8 inhabitants per square kilometre, remains among the lowest in the world. Australia generates its income from various sources including mining-related exports, telecommunications, banking and manufacturing. Indigenous Australian rock art is the oldest and richest in the world, dating as far back as 60,000 years and spread across hundreds of thousands of sites. Australia is a highly developed country, with the world's 13th largest economy. It has a high income economy, with the world's 10th highest per capita income. Australia is a regional power and has the world's 13th highest military expenditure. Australia has the world's ninth largest immigrant population with immigrants accounting for 26% of the population. Having the third highest human development index and the eighth highest ranked democracy globally, the country ranks highly in quality of life, health, education, economic freedom, civil liberties and political rights with all its major cities faring well in global comparative livability surveys. Australia is a member of the United Nations, G20, Commonwealth of Nations, ANZUS, Organization for Economic Company Operation and Development, World Trade Organization, Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation, Pacific Islands Forum, and the ASEAN Plus 6 Mechanism. Name the name Australia is derived from the Latin Terra Australis, a name used for a hypothetical continent in the Southern Hemisphere since ancient times, when Europeans first began visiting and mapping Australia in the 17th century. The name Terra Australis was naturally applied to the new territories. Until the early 19th century, Australia was best known as New Holland. A name first applied by the Dutch explorer Abel Tasman in 1644 and subsequently anglicised. Terra Australis still saw occasional usage, such as in scientific texts. The name Australia was popularised by the explorer Matthew Flinders, who said it was more agreeable to the ear, and an assimilation to the names of the other great portions of the earth. The first time that Australia appears to have been officially used was in April 1817 
when Governor Lachlan Macquarie acknowledged the receipt of Flinders' Charts of Australia from Lord Bathurst. In December 1817, Macquarie recommended to the Colonial Office that it be formally adopted. In 1824, the Admiralty agreed that the continent should be known officially by that name. The first official published use of the new name came with the publication in 1830 of the Australia Directory by the Hydrographic Office. Colloquial names for Australia include, Oz, and, the land down under. Other epithets include, the Great Southern Land, the Lucky Country, the Sunburnt Country, and, the Wide Brown Land. The latter two both derive from Dorothea McKellar's 1908 poem, My Country. Pre-Colonial History Human habitation of the Australian continent is estimated to have begun around 65,000 to 70,000 years ago, with the migration of people by land bridges and short sea crossings from what is now Southeast Asia. These first inhabitants were the ancestors of modern indigenous Australians. At the time of European settlement in the late 18th century, most indigenous Australians were hunter-gatherers with complex economies and societies. Indigenous Australians have an oral culture with spiritual values based on reverence for the land and a belief in the dream time. The Torres Strait Islanders, ethnically Melanesian, obtained their livelihood from seasonal horticulture and the resources of their reefs and seas. The northern coasts and waters of Australia were visited sporadically by Makassan fishermen from South Peninsula, Sulawesi. European Arrival the first recorded European sighting of the Australian mainland, and the first recorded European landfall on the Australian continent, are attributed to the Dutch. The first ship and crew to chart the Australian coast and meet with Aboriginal people was the Dufkin captained by Dutch navigator, Willem Jan Soorn. He sighted the coast of Cape York Peninsula in early 1606 and made landfall on 26 February at the Pennyfather River near the modern town of Weeper on Cape York. The Dutch charted the whole of the western and northern coastlines and named the island continent, New Holland, during the 17th century, but made no attempt at settlement. William Dampier, an English explorer and privateer, landed on the northwest coast of New Holland in 1688 and again in 1699 on a return trip. In 1770, James Cook sailed along and mapped the East Coast, which he named New South Wales and claimed for Great Britain. With the loss of its American colonies in 1783, the British government sent a fleet of ships. The First Fleet, under the command of Captain Arthur Phillip, to establish a new penal colony in New South Wales. A camp was set up and the flag raised at Sydney Cove, Port Jackson, on 26 January 1788 a date which became Australia's National Day, Australia Day. A British settlement was established in Van Diemen's Land, now known as Tasmania, in 1803, and it became a separate colony in 1825. The United Kingdom formally claimed the western part of Western Australia in 1828. Separate colonies were carved from parts of New South Wales, South Australia in 1836, Victoria in 1851, and Queensland in 1859. The Northern Territory was founded in 1911 when it was excised from South Australia. South Australia was founded as a free province, it was never a penal colony. Victoria and Western Australia were also founded free, but later accepted transported convicts. A campaign by the settlers of New South Wales led to the end of convict transportation to the colony. The last convict ship arrived in 1848. The indigenous population, estimated to have been between 750,000 and 1 million in 1788, declined for 150 years following settlement, mainly due to infectious disease. Thousands more died as a result of frontier conflict with settlers. A government policy of assimilation, beginning with the Aboriginal Protection Act 1869 resulted in the removal of many Aboriginal children from their families and communities, often referred to as the Stolan Generations, a practice which may also have contributed to the decline in the indigenous population. As a result of the 1967 referendum, the federal government's power to enact special laws with respect to a particular race was extended to enable the making of laws with respect to Aborigines. Traditional ownership of land was not recognized in law until 1992, 
When the High Court of Australia held in Marbo v Queensland that the legal doctrine that Australia had been Taran Elias did not apply to Australia at the time of British settlement. Colonial Expansion A gold rush began in Australia in the early 1850s and the Eureka Rebellion against mining licence fees in 1854 was an early expression of civil disobedience. Between 1855 and 1890, the six colonies individually gained responsible government, managing most of their own affairs while remaining part of the British Empire. The colonial office in London retained control of some matters, notably foreign affairs, defence, and international shipping. Nationhood On 1 January 1901, Federation of the Colonies was achieved after a decade of planning, consultation and voting. This established the Commonwealth of Australia as a dominion of the British Empire. The Federal Capital Territory was formed in 1911 as the location for the future Federal Capital of Canberra. Melbourne was the temporary seat of government from 1901 to 1927 while Canberra was being constructed. The Northern Territory was transferred from the control of the South Australian government to the Federal Parliament in 1911. In 1914, Australia joined Britain in fighting World War I, with support from both the outgoing Commonwealth Liberal Party and the incoming Australian Labour Party. Australians took part in many of the major battles fought on the Western Front, of about 416,000 who served. About 60,000 were killed and another 152,000 were wounded. Many Australians regard the defeat of the Australian and New Zealand Army Corps at Gallipoli as the birth of the nation, its first major military action. The Kokoda Track campaign is regarded by many as an analogous nation-defining event during World War II. Britain's Statute of Westminster 1931 formally ended most of the constitutional links between Australia and the UK. Australia adopted it in 1942 but it was backdated to 1939 to confirm the validity of legislation passed by the Australian Parliament during World War II. The shock of the United Kingdom's defeat in Asia in 1942 and the threat of Japanese invasion caused Australia to turn to the United States as a new ally and protector. Since 1951, Australia has been a formal military ally of the US, under the ANZUS Treaty. After World War II Australia encouraged immigration from mainland Europe. Since the 1970s and following the abolition of the White Australia policy, immigration from Asia and elsewhere was also promoted. As a result, Australia's demography, culture, and self-image were transformed. The passing of the Australia Act 1986 ended all possibility for any vestigial role of the British government in the government in Australia and removed the already seldom used option of judicial appeals to the Privy Council in London. In a 1999 referendum, 55% of voters and a majority in every state rejected a proposal to become a republic with a president appointed by a two-thirds vote in both houses of the Australian Parliament. Since the election of the Whitlam government in 1972, there has been an increasing focus in foreign policy on ties with other Pacific Rim nations while maintaining close ties with Australia's traditional allies and trading partners. General Characteristics Surrounded by the Indian and Pacific Oceans, Australia is separated from Asia by the Arafura and Timor Seas, with the Coral Sea lying off the Queensland coast, and the Tasman Sea lying between Australia and New Zealand. The world's smallest continent and sixth largest country by total area, Australia, owing to its size and isolation, is often dubbed the island continent and is sometimes considered the world's largest island. Australia has 34,218 kilometres of coastline and claims an extensive exclusive economic zone of 8,148,250 square kilometres. This exclusive economic zone does not include the Australian Antarctic Territory, apart from Macquarie Island. Australia lies between latitudes 9 degrees and 44 degrees south, and longitudes 112 degrees and 154 degrees east. The Great Barrier Reef, the world's largest coral reef, lies a short distance off the northeast coast and extends for over 2,000 kilometres. Mount Augustus, claimed to be the world's largest monolith, is located in Western Australia. At 2,228 metres, 
Mount Kosciuszko on the Great Dividing Range is the highest mountain on the Australian mainland. Even taller are Mawson Peak, on the remote Australian territory of Heard Island, and, in the Australian Antarctic Territory, Mount McClintock and Mount Menzies, at 3,492 metres and 3,355 metres respectively. Australia's size gives it a wide variety of landscapes, with tropical rainforests in the northeast, mountain ranges in the southeast, southwest and east, and dry desert in the centre. The desert, or semi-arid land commonly known as the outback makes up by far the largest portion of land. Australia is the driest inhabited continent. Its annual rainfall averaged over continental area is less than 500 mm. The population density, 2.8 inhabitants per square kilometer, is among the lowest in the world, although a large proportion of the population lives along the temperate southeastern coastline. Eastern Australia is marked by the Great Dividing Range, which runs parallel to the coast of Queensland, New South Wales and much of Victoria. The name is not strictly accurate, because parts of the range consist of low hills, and the highlands are typically no more than 1,600 metres in height. The coastal uplands and a belt of brigolo grasslands lie between the coast and the mountains, while inland of the dividing range are large areas of grassland. These include the western plains of New South Wales, and the Ainsley Uplands, Barclay Tableland, and Mulgarlands of inland Queensland. The northernmost point of the east coast is the tropical rainforested Cape York Peninsula. The landscapes of the top end and the Gulf country with their tropical climate include forest, woodland, wetland, grassland, rainforest and desert. At the northwest corner of the continent are the sandstone cliffs and gorges of the Kimberley, and below that the Pilbara. To the south of these and inland, lie more areas of grassland, the Ord Victoria Plain and the Western Australian Mulga Shrublands. At the heart of the country are the uplands of Central Australia. Prominent features of the centre and south include Illaroo, the famous sandstone monolith, and the inland Simpson, Terrarian Sturt Stony, Gibson, Great Sandy, Tanami, and Great Victoria Deserts, with the famous Nullarbor Plain on the southern coast. Geology Lying on the Indo-Australian plate, the mainland of Australia is the lowest and most primordial landmass on Earth with a relatively stable geological history. The landmass includes virtually all known rock types, and from all geological time periods spanning over 3.8 billion years of the Earth's history. The Pilbara Craton is one of only two pristine Archean 3.6-2.7 Gar crusts identified on the Earth, having been part of all major supercontinents. The Australian continent began to form after the breakup of Gondwana in the Permian, with the separation of the continental landmass from the African continent and Indian subcontinent. It separated from Antarctica over a prolonged period beginning in the Permian and continuing through to the Cretaceous. When the last glacial period ended in about 10,000 BC, rising sea levels formed Base Strait, separating Tasmania from the mainland. Then between about 8,000 and 6,500 BC, the lowlands in the north were flooded by the sea, separating New Guinea, the Aru Islands, and the mainland of Australia. The Australian continent is currently moving toward Eurasia at the rate of 6, 7 centimetres a year. The Australian mainland's continental crust, excluding the thinned margins, has an average thickness of 38 kilometres with a range in thickness from 24 km to 59 km. Australia's geology can be divided into several main sections, showcasing that the continent grew from west to east. The Archaean Cretonic Shields found mostly in the west, Proterozoic Fold Belts in the centre and Phanerozoic Sedimentary Basins, Metamorphic, and Igneous Rocks in the east. The Australian mainland and Tasmania are situated in the middle of the tectonic plate, and currently have no active volcanoes, but due to passing over the East Australia hotspot, recent volcanism has occurred during the Holocene, in the newer Volcanics province of Western Victoria and Southeastern South Australia. Volcanism also occurs in the island of New Guinea, and in the Australian external territory of Heard Island and Macdonald Islands. Seismic activity in the Australian mainland and Tasmania is also low, with the greatest number of fatalities having occurred in the 1989 Newcastle earthquake. Climate 
The climate of Australia is significantly influenced by ocean currents, including the Indian Ocean Dipole and the El Niño Southern Oscillation, which is correlated with periodic drought, and the seasonal tropical low-pressure system that produces cyclones in northern Australia. These factors cause rainfall to vary markedly from year to year. Much of the northern part of the country has a tropical, predominantly summer rainfall. The southwest corner of the country has a Mediterranean climate. The southeast ranges from oceanic to humid subtropical, with the highlands featuring alpine and subpolar oceanic climates. The interior is arid to semi-arid. According to the Bureau of Meteorology's 2011 Australian Climate Statement, Australia had lower than average temperatures in 2011 as a consequence of our La Nina weather pattern. However, the country's 10-year average continues to demonstrate the rising trend in temperatures, with 2002-2011 likely to rank in the top two warmest 10-year periods on record for Australia, at 0.52 C change above the long-term average. Furthermore, 2014 was Australia's third warmest year since national temperature observations commenced in 1910. Water restrictions are frequently in place in many regions and cities of Australia in response to chronic shortages due to urban population increases and localised drought. Throughout much of the continent, major flooding regularly follows extended periods of drought, flashing out inland river systems, overflowing dams and inundating large inland flood plains as occurred throughout eastern Australia in 2010, 2011 and 2012 after the 2000s Australian drought. Australia's carbon dioxide emissions per capita are among the highest in the world, lower than those of only a few other industrialised nations. A carbon tax was introduced in 2012 and helped to reduce Australia's emissions, but was scrapped in 2014 under the Liberal government. Since the carbon tax was repealed, emissions have again continued to rise. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?